Hello, Prudential sales executives for our video message of the week. All right, I entitled this week's message, uh, Production Tips. I have a few production tips that I wanna share with you to keep your business moving forward in a very, very positive direction. All right, let's jump right in. Tip number one, keep a to-do list with you at all times. Now, in today's world, a to-do list to you might be your phone, might be your iPad. It might actually be a yellow pad, uh, maybe a voice recorder. Whatever it is to you, and maybe you use more than one, that's great. Not my concern. My concern is, is being able to have something there where, one, if you come up with your newest exciting idea, you get to write it down or make a note of it. But most importantly, what that is there for, as things come up that you know you need to accomplish on a day-to-day -day basis, you have the ability to write it down so it's always in your face. You want to keep that to-do list with you, even if, again, if it's on computer, great, but it's got to be in front of you on a consistent basis. That's why uh, I'll tell you the old note tech yellow tab is very, very powerful because it's always there right in front of your face. All right, so keep that to-do list with you at all times. Next, I want you to gauge, okay, I want you to gauge your day by successful activities and not by hours. Sometimes we get caught up in, I've got to do this for two, three hours or whatever the time frame is. And the reality of it is, is that hours are actually meaningless. And let me give you an example. Is your goal, let's say you were doing some cold calling, is your goal to call for three hours? or is your goal to get business? I want you to stay really focused on why you're calling. It's not to just get through the time frame, it's to get business. So here's my point. I want you to gauge your day on successful activities. Example, how many listing appointments do you want to go on that day? How many buyer appointments, if it's a buyer appointment that day? How many contacts do you actually want to make? Let's say it is, you know what, I want to talk to 10 people today. Well, great. Some of you may do that in 10 calls. You get lucky and you get someone every time. Someone else, you might have to make 50 calls. I really don't care. What I want you focused on is your mindset is, is look, it's about the activity and it's about success in that activity. So really what Mark's saying is, if I get to 10 people in two minutes, that was production, exactly. Last tip, okay, today, which is very, very important. I title it, less is more, okay? This is really, really key. Consistency and, and moving forward on a um, ongoing, consistent basis is what success is all about. What success isn't is promising and giving yourself overwhelming commitments that deep down you already know you're probably not going to be able to do. And you probably find that out pretty darn quick. What you need to realize is that consistency, okay, is all about just that, being consistent. It doesn't mean make these, you know what, incredible goals for yourself that aren't realistic. I want you to think about less is more. I would rather, let's even drop those calls back, I would rather have you contact five people each and every day than say, I'm going to call for three hours and then know that works for maybe one or two days and you stop doing it because it's overwhelming. Less can be more. And I'll even say this, it actually is more when you do it on a consistent basis. Have a great week, everybody, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.